every bubble application it comes with two environments, development and live. And the differences between these two really just come down to how you manage publishing your app to your live users. You know, it's very likely that over the lifetime of your app, you're gonna be making changes many times. So whether it's fixing bugs or improving features or adding new features, you want to have a dedicated space to make those changes and only publish them to your live users when you're ready. Think of the development environment as your testing area. This is where everything gets built and figured out. When you're ready to publish your work, you can deploy the development version over to the live version. It's a simple one-click operation and the live version will instantly get updated. You can go back to your development version, make additional changes, the live version won't see those changes until you deploy again. Now you'll find that the editor does separate some areas uh, between the two environments. For example, the database. You actually get two databases with your app. You have a development database and a live database. This is very helpful to keep you from accidentally overriding information, especially within the live environment. So if you're working in the development version, you're creating records, modifying the database, um, it's not going to interfere with the live environment. This way you keep you know, that safe separation. Now there are some functions to help you copy data between those two databases. It's not something that you're generally gonna do very often, but it is an option if necessary. Next, you'll find that there are some settings in your editor that you can configure differently for each environment. You'll usually see this with plugins that you've installed in your app or API connections. A really common example of separating the settings between environments is with a payment integration. So most payment providers will offer different environments as well, a test and a live environment, so that you can safely uh, test everything with fake transactions, You know, make mistakes there, uh, figure out your logic without having to worry about processing real money. Um, and then in the live version, that is when everything uh, runs with real transactions, real credit cards, real bank transfers, things like that. And Bubble is smart enough to know that if you're doing things in the development version, it can use the test settings versus if you're doing things in the live version, it will use the live settings. If you're on one of Bubble's higher paid plans, you also have access to adding custom branches to your development environment. A branch is essentially an iteration of the development environment. So this is especially helpful if you're collaborating with other people to build out your app. This way you can each work in an isolated area, not step over each other, and Bubble has plenty of tools to help you merge and sync all of your changes with one another before you deploy your next version to live. In addition to this, if you're on a paid plan, Bubble will also give you an additional 100,000 workload units for your development environment only so that you have plenty of breathing room to figure out all of your logic. Keep in mind that Bubble does track your workload consumption in the development environment and the live environment separately. Together, that contributes to your total workload consumption.